welcome back to another video my fellow gears this will be episode number seven on the road to seriously 5.0 with this week's video covering nexus we still have most of the maps to complete but we are working through them steadily nexus is a great map for horde definitely one of the better maps for gears 5 and as usual this video will cover the layout of nexus with all the possible tap and base locations then I will mention the mutators and build I had to beat with this particular map before kicking off the full uninterrupted gameplay. Let's head down into the Nexus and take a look at the map's layout. Your fabricator for Nexus will spawn in this location here in the middle of the map. You have 11 possible tap locations spread all over the map in these spots so no matter where you choose to set up you will always have some taps you can make use of. Lastly, there are two ammo boxes on Nexus found in these locations that respawn at the start of every round. Once you have the fabricator, you are going to want to decide where to set up your base. I would say there are five ideal spots for bases on Nexus, but we will start like we always do with the center build. Choosing to start your base here by simply picking up and putting the fabricator down immediately and trying to survive in this general area. This will be the hardest possible location to beat Nexus since you will be attacked from every direction. Good team coordination and plenty of energy will be needed by your engineer to get through this gruelling 5 out of 5 difficulty spot. An alternative and slightly easier place to set up would be the temple section found at the bottom of the map just here. You will be attacked mostly from the front and have plenty of cover, but your team will be spread out along the entire bottom side of the map. Shorter range classes may be more beneficial, but you could also have free energy taps within your base, meaning you have plenty of energy to go around, and for your engineer to build plenty of fortifications. Though easier than staying in the centre of Nexus, it's not much easier with a difficulty of 4 out of 5. Let's cover the next two areas together. The Nexus and Grind Lift spawn points can both be used as base locations. Both spots are the most elevated points on Nexus and you have very long sight lines entirely down the centre of Nexus. There are several nearby taps to make use of and your team's engineer won't need much energy to be effective here. Just make sure you set the fabricator back far enough to block anything from potentially spawning behind you in either spot. Setting up in either of these locations is a good way to beat Nexus with a difficulty of only 2 out of 5. The last spot I want to highlight on Nexus is the Ritual Area, found at the top of the map just here. You are protected from most flanking positions whilst inside this spot, but you are also limited in the number of enemies you can kill, since your sight lines don't extend much further than where you set up. It is ideal to push out to the Torch Barge and Pool areas slightly, to make things a little bit easier for your team and pull back into the ritual area if things start to go sideways. You do have plenty of nearby taps to make use of and your engineer can build a fairly decent sized base here for very little but the shorter sight lines and slightly awkward map layout are definitely a crux for this area. I would say this spot is also 2 out of 5 for difficulty. With the general map layout of Nexus covered, I somehow ended up choosing our team to set up around the Nexus spawn point, and here are the mutators me and my team had to contend with when trying to beat this map. Ultra Power Drain. Fortification build cost is increased by 1000%. This basically rules out any kind of engineer, so it's best to run with 5 classes that can focus on damaging enemies. More lethal. Enemies deal more damage with this mutator active. Ultra Slow Recharge. All classes ultimate ability cooldowns are increased by 1000%. With this mutator active, each class may only get to use their ultimate ability once or twice in a full match, so don't rely on it. More health. Enemies have even bigger health pools. Instant Reload. The one positive mutator who had this match, allowing all players to have perfectly active reloaded rounds. Ideal for everyone. Regen Penalty. Taking any damage will take slightly longer to regenerate. There are classes that can get around this mutator easily with health regeneration or bigger health pools, so it's not the biggest problem. Survivor. Our final mutator was once again Survivor. We had to beat all 12 waves without dying or else we had to restart. Very difficult mutators, meaning we couldn't rely on an engineer or our ultimate abilities. Because of this, I decided to play as the Brawler 
and use the following skill cards. All the glory. Killing enemies that are burning will explode, dealing more damage to enemies around it. It's the only real area damage the brawler has, but can help cause more and more burning damage when it goes off in a good spot. Scorcher Mastery. One of the later additions for the brawler, simply allowing us to do extra damage with the Scorcher Flamethrower. Play with fire. All active rounds have a chance to set enemies ablaze, dealing some damage over time. Since we have the instant reload mutator active, we constantly have active rounds, meaning this card will be active all the time. Pyromaniac. Whenever I do set enemies on fire, the burning damage is increased with this skill card. Extra damage is extra damage. Glow and Slow. My final card choice was some crowd control. Setting enemies on fire will also slow them down. Since we didn't have an engineer, I wanted to help slow down any approaching enemies, hence the card choice. That is everything covered, so I will let the full gameplay for Nexus roll. I hope you enjoy. All right, we're doing another Horde Frenzy today on Nexus. Uh, mutators and perks once again will be at the start. And we can go with a very greedy build because one, we don't have an engineer. Secondly, the mutators have it so that 
for real. Mutators have it so it's pretty hard to build anyway. I am just trying to get as many enemies burning as possible just to slow them down with the glow and slow card. I suppose we do have a jack, which can help us, like, especially with these long range revives. Oh, that was a bit of a waste of that dude's ultimate. He used his uh, R on one enemy, a peacemaker, and his ultimate is going to take a hundred minutes. To, re to uh, regenerate. Ideally, I would like a Scorcher as soon as we can. And with this as well, any grenade you find on the floor, no matter what grenade it is, just pick it up and plant it. Flash grenades, shot grenades, anything that can just slow the enemies down. If you can salvage as much off the floor as possible, even better. There's a couple of snipers over here and I can't quite reach them. Nice. There we go. Ooh, those two guys are down. I'm gonna try and get to him. <laughs> Just awful. There we go. This chain reaction from all the glory is really helping out, and I am out of uh, ammo burst ammo. The anchor is another good class for this, with the bloody bolt. Is it bloody bolt hook? That skill card, because you have to hit actives for that as well. Any class that needs actives, this card is amazing for, not card. Mutator. Don't kill it. Coming back for seconds. It was literally captured. <laughs> tap empty. Tap oh well, we missed a bit of energy with that wave, but doing what we can. Uh, yes, please. I'm going to focus on getting my damage up oh, yeah. first entirely. Um, let's salvage some stuff off the field. Don't really want to go a long shot. We do have a nomad that that might be useful for. Yeah, nice. 
Oh, boss wave. Didn't even realize. A warden's actually not too bad. I am out of ammo. And we've just lost our nomad, I think. Nice job, we got a GR1. Throwing frag. GR1. Pretty sure we have a slugger as well, don't we? We do. down oh nice save hopefully we can replace the nomad that we lost oh reviving is crucial in this uh particular one And there we go. I'm going to try and grab as much of the hammer burst, the lancers, anything I can off the field. Just to supplement my ammo that little bit. As soon as we can get a scorcher, it'll be even better. I might have to buy one though. Stock up on more damage as well. I do really need to get the ammo regeneration maxed out as quickly as I can as well. Just because we are going to struggle for ammo. Ooh. Nice save. Oh, these elite drones are going to be absolute pain to deal with. Whoa! I'm down again. Nice save. That went a little bit wobbly. The dude's constantly out there, though. Come on, man. Up oh, a hunter got me. And there we go. That got very, very wobbly there, but we did it. Tap empty. Tap upgraded. Securing the tap. Hey, we got oh, and we lost that gunner. 
unfortunately. Uh, yes, please. Uh, this should be fun. Take that. Then force it. Oh, there's some more hammer burst there. This slug has really came online now he's really weak and, like damaging these enemies quite a bit before they even get to us there we go hopefully he's planting more and more grenades around the map oh let's get jack up i can't get jack up because someone's thrown a grenade Oh, there's a frag grenade coming in. Run away. Remember, like I said, the more enemies I can keep on fire, the slower they move. That slugger is coming in so close now. You bet your ass there's more on the way. Ready up. And always use more. Gonna max out my damage and then go for some ammo regeneration. Look at putting that there as well. Ah, another Theron got me. Oh, man, that was next. Theron spotted. Frag out. Fire in the hole. No. Throwing frag. Frag out. Another Theron. So many of these things. Can't tell if I'm hitting it or not because of that smoke grenade. Oh, these damn pherons. There we go. I am struggling a little bit now. I went down so many times in that round. They're sending us something big. Uh, are we ready for this? And always use more. Oh yeah. 
Where's all the energy just come from? Ooh, flashbang. I will take that. I'll keep hold of that for now. And we have Goku with us, so we'll be fine. <laughs> Stump and a Snatcher. That's actually not too bad. What we got? He's a gunner as well. Why? I'm not going to complain. Go. That dude's dealt with. Oh, that was close. go that way i get a little bit of stim as well nice that slugger is really coming in handy now he's doing so much damage all right ammo regen and health not going to focus on getting the feedback boost um because it's not going to be necessary in the slightest That's why Jack's giving me energy. Oh, shit, I'm hurt. That wasn't smart. <laughs> right, what I will do is maybe look at getting the Scorcher soon as well, because we do need that. But nothing is getting too close, I guess. That was close. Oh, there's a lot of elite drones here. They are hurting. I'm missing a grenade. But we'll find something, I'm sure. Incendiary grenades actually will be a good show. It's a real shame this class never got any buffs to incendiary grenades. Oh, I'll 
Take that. Perfect. I, I think a perfect card for the brawler would have been increased radius and damage on incendiary grenades by quite a lot. That would have been absolutely perfect for the class. Where is the fabricator? Why is it back there? Oh, there's a tire. <laughs> I'm on fire. No, that didn't. Never mind. I wouldn't do this to you. Maybe I would. Only two left. Try and get these taps captured. Never mind. I'm going to run through and grab that energy on, not the energy. Why am I carrying so much energy speaking of? One, two, and max out the health. And then I will give this to... There you go, I'll give it to the slugger, because I don't need it. Stay still. He might be able to make better use of it than I can. We are so screwed. Even if he just has to buy a boatload of grenades. that hit I save managed to hit that Feron Elite behind the boom shot Sion. And that was enough to just... Ooh. Oh, never mind. He's down. Had to avoid killing that one. There we go. Might be worth investing in a Lancer GL actually this wave as well because I think the increase, not the increased ammo, but the grenades will come in handy. Tap 
Gonna plant that one. I've got the energy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy AGL. Buy a uh, fresh incendiary grenade. I'm gonna put this one just here. But we've got Sentinel Snatcher. Hmm. Not the best. That thing is annoyingly going to keep coming back. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Bring it on. Need more ammo. Let's try and get this thing dealt with. There we go. Ooh, Jack's got a uh, Ultra Cyan as well. Ooh, I'm down. Dude, literally at your feet. There we go. Nice, and it's just the... Oh, wait, no, it's a different side on it. And that is how it's done. Bit sketchy at the end, but... Decent team. Thank you very much for watching until the very end of the video. If you haven't watched this far previously, then I have been keeping track of all the maps completed with this little tick sheet. Nexus was map number seven. So let's go ahead and cross off one more map off our list. And now that Christmas is over, I will bring you another map next week. As always, Gears, take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.